Hi and welcome back to Tejas Vinny's Tarot for this week's tarot card reading. I have not been able to go live, stream my session live because of some Wi-Fi connectivity issues. So I decided to drop in a short video itself. So today's tarot card, even before I picked it up today, I had signs and visions and dreams of uh, what it stands for in the last week itself. And today when I pick it up, it all makes sense, much better sense to me, all gelling together. So I'll show you this card, which is, which is this card, which is called you can see it is a uh, number five and it's it's, it's gray color here and uh, it says comparison and uh, it's got the picture of a bamboo and an oak tree so two opposites one a thin beautiful bamboo and a thick oak solid tree and it's the background is all gray and this is also gray so it is the suit of clouds so once the clouds step in also traditionally the suit of swords the element of clouds is air and when clouds come up then obviously uh, things are not that good but then there is always uh, a good positive lining to this clouds will always disperse they will always pass off so what do I see in this card in from the Zen point of view it means that both are unique in themselves the thin bamboo and the thick oak and there is no way a bamboo will question an oak or an oak will question a bamboo on each other's existence. Both of them are part of an organic unity. But we as humans are always questioning each other, coming into conflicts with each other. And there is a perpetual conflict between opposites. So how does this card relate to you the first thing which comes into my mind as i look at this card is uh, it's it's a complete i see a conflict so it's a conflict of energies erratic energies which i see in this week and uh, the only way what to do about these erratic energies is to ground them and how do you ground these energies through exercise through meditation through channeling them to the mother earth various ways in which you can ground the erratic energies number two what i see in this card is disagreement conflict rivalry jealousy maybe vengeance attack betrayal maybe someone whom you trust a surprise betrayal so this card shows you tells you about some conflict which is going on in your life and how do you deal with this conflict see this might uh, tell you that there's a defeat coming so what do you do with the defeat you have to learn with learn from the defeat that's the best lesson that you can take from the defeat the card also tells you that since there are battles going around pick your battles choose your battles you may be tempted to fight each and every battle of your life stand up for each and every issue of your life but that is not required refrain from this temptation and be selective in your battle 
so this this actually this card uh, reminds me of this very beautiful book which i possessed for a long time which was by paolo coelho and it was called uh, the manual of the warriors of light and this book is like an oracle every page once you open the page it will have some uh, guidance for you and the warrior of light like if you open a page it might tell you that the warrior of light listens to what his opponent has to say and fights when it is absolutely essential he has no ups upsets because or he has no regrets because regrets can kill and a warrior of light somewhere it says never resorts to trickery but he knows how to distract his opponent so it's it's uh, it's a beautiful book and i use this book for my daily guidance there was a time when i used to use it so this is a card about conflict and disagreement so maybe it's a warning or maybe it's telling you to learn from this number 3 i can see health issues health issues may come up in this week so be careful be cautious and do all your best to ground yourself to physical exercises to uh, motivate yourself calm soothe comfort yourself and focus on grounding energy so that's all for today see you next week in the live tejaswini's tarot session bye bye